Hello, my name is Zain Asad from Asad Zeman Films, and today I'm going to be reviewing the newer F100 LCD field monitor. So let's check it out. So I purchased this monitor on Amazon. I purchased it for about $95 when it was on sale, I guess. I don't know, it's around $95 to $110. The reason I got this monitor is because I actually needed a monitor for my Canon T6 that I'm currently shooting on. I could never like see myself, so I didn't know if it was in focus or not. And I gotta say that this monitor is actually pretty handy. I have it attached on top of the camera cage from actually Newer. So I actually have that attached to that. It's a 4K field monitor and it does have an HDMI, put, HDMI input and an AV input. Now I've had this monitor for about 2-3 months now and I gotta say that I think it's a really good investment. I really recommend this monitor to any beginning filmmakers and if you really just need an affordable monitor and don't want to spend like three, four hundred dollars maybe like on a small HD or something like that. Those are really good monitors but this monitor is actually pretty good itself. Now I have it hooked up to the DC input. Actually it's a 12 volt uh, AC adapter. So it's running off of that. It's not running off of those NPF55 batteries that you could uh, purchase actually pretty cheaply as well. I do have those MP55 batteries. They're actually attached to these LED lights that I have by GVM. Shout out to GVM. This monitor is really cool actually. It does have a, a center frame focus. It does have an assist focus as well. It does come with a sunshade, which is pretty good, which I actually also have attached to it. So it does have an image flip option and it also does have a center marker. For instance, if you need to like center the shot or if you need to flip the frame, for instance, if you attach it to maybe like a, a gimbal or like a steady cam or something like that. Ratio of auto, four by three and 16 by nine, as well as zoom two, zoom one, and panorama mode for the image aspect ratio. It does have save frames of off, 93%, 96%, 90%, 86%, 80%, 80%, and 2.35 by one. It has a check field of red, blue, green, and mono, or you could just turn it off. Now it does have a focus assist and that could either be on or off. It does have um, custom Customize shortcut key settings so you could actually customize the shortcut keys to whatever you need to click for instance if you need to put the center frame on or, or the aspect ratio So here's the monitor in my hands just to show you guys like a sense of size and uh, It's actually a pretty cool little LCD monitor. Uh, it's really I really consider this a very great buy for the buck a, a really good buy and uh, yeah, there it is. Um, it's a, of course, 4K monitor and it's pretty thin. As you can see, it's pretty lightweight as well uh, without the battery and stuff like that. But with the battery, it's still even more lightweight. Um, it's made out of plastic, I guess. It would, like if this thing were to drop, it would probably break, but it's pretty good. It has a 3.5 mount, 3.5 millimeter mount. So you could attach it to your tripod and stuff like that. And yeah, I really recommend this. It's a great buy. Uh, the link is in the description if you're interested. Uh, I, I, bought, I purchased it off of Amazon. And yeah, this is actually a really good buy. Thank you guys so much for watching.